Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tierney and today we're going to be talking about behavior narration. Behavior narration is something that I use every day very often in my classroom. Behavior narration helps you to point out the students who are doing the behaviors that you desire for them to be doing. It points out the students who are meeting the expectation instead of normally focusing on the students that aren't doing what you have requested them to do. So for example, normally you might see a teacher say, when I say go, I want you to turn in your science book to page 333. Once you've checked for understanding, making sure everyone knows what page they're supposed to be turning to, you have a student who is off task. So I'm gonna provide you with an alternative to going after that student who's off task. Instead, point out the students who are on task. So, for example, I see Johnny, he's not turning to page 333 in his science book. I will say, I see Sarah turning to page 333 quickly in her science book. I see Marissa has found page 333, and I see that I have Javon on page 333. So you've given this off-task student three different opportunities to get himself back on task and focus. And by that time, you will see that the student who was off task gets on task because you have allowed them the opportunity to do so. Now, let's say by the third time that you have mentioned that we should be on page 333, you still see your student who was off task, remaining off task, that's when you go ahead and give out the consequences in the consequences order that you have listed and set for your classroom. But I will guarantee that you will see yourself not having to give as many consequences because behavior narration truly works. I really like behavior narration because it repeats the instructions in a positive manner. So once you have given instructions, you wanna make sure to narrate three different times. I stick with three. So do your narration three different times, pointing out the behavior that you desire to see your students showing. And make sure you are narrating before you correct the student. And once you see that the student who was off task has now changed their behavior and is on task, I encourage you to point that out to them. I see that Johnny has found page 333 and you can leave it at that. Once students see that you're on their side and you're trying to encourage them to make good choices, then they will live up to the expectations that you have set for them. So I hope that you have found this behavior narration video to be helpful to you and that it's something that you will try out. I encourage you to leave a comment down below. Have you used behavior narration in your classroom? Do you see that it is successful and helpful for you? Or what are some other classroom management strategies and techniques that you use and find to be helpful? I'd love to hear it and it also will be helpful to others who are watching this video to read the comments and learn as well. I thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in and make sure that you are subscribed and that you click like so that other people can find this video as well and it will be helpful to them. Definitely check out my website misstyranny.com for other helpful teacher resources and I'll see you soon.